Okay, so in the previous video, if you recall, we were looking at uh, iterative solutions uh, for a difference equation. And we picked an example in particular to explore this area with. And this uh, equation was a difference equation. Y of n is equal to negative 0 0.8 times y with a time n minus 1 there plus x uh, with a time n. Okay? And we said uh, that the input to that system, XL, xn, where again n is the discrete time, is equal to the unit step minus the unit step delayed by three samples. Okay? And again, what we wanted to find in this problem here is we wanted to find the iterative solution to that. And so we were asked to assume that y is equal, or pardon me, y at time negative 1 is equal to 0. And again, what is the iterative solution of the difference equation y of n? Okay, which again is this, if the input is this. All right? Okay, so now that you're caught up again, uh, if you recall also, at the very end of it all, uh, the uh, prior video, I mean, we said that we found a solution for it, but that solution only encompasses or only includes n greater than or equal to 2, okay? And we said that that uh, portion of the solution, anyway, is equal to 1.3125 times negative 0.8 raised to the nth power. Okay, so the question is now, how do we find uh, the solution when n is equal to 0 and when n is equal to 1? Okay, so the way that we do this, well, one way that we can do this anyway, is that um, let's use a unit, uh, not a unit step, but a delta function. So if you recall, the delta function, okay, we're sort of looking at this in the discrete time, it is infinitely... Uh, has infinite amplitude and zero uh, area under the curve here. It's, so we represent it using an arrow, okay? And that value is only at zero, okay? At time n equals zero. For everywhere else, the delta function is zero, but there it, it has an infinitely large value. And if we multiply that infinitely large value by any value, then we get that value back, okay? So given that that's the case then, therefore, and I'm going to use these three dots in a triangle shape here, and that's, I learned this from one of my professors back in the day. Uh, therefore, when n is equal to 0, because again, that's one of the areas that we're interested in, right? When n is equal to 0. Uh, let's see, we say that y of um, y when n is uh, 0 is equal to, and I'm going to use the letter x here. This is not the input, okay? I'm using this in order to solve for what the uh, delta function, what the delta function needs to be multiplied by in order to get uh, what would be my answer here would be 1 because remember when y is equal to or when n is equal to 0 the, the output from the system is 1 right okay so that's all I'm using this for it's for the purpose of solving it is not the input so we have x times the delta function again when n is equal to 0 so we're going to put a 0 in there and that's plus now uh, 1 3, 1, 2, 1 1.3, pardon me, 1.3125 times negative 0 0.8 raised to the nth power. Okay? So the question is probably, where in the world did we get that from? Okay? So let's just quickly look back here. Remember over here, all right, uh, we said that, um, let's see, actually that would be the Oh, actually was at the top. Yeah, there we go. We said that uh, if we put zero in here, okay, we expect to get 
and let's go ahead and erase this this should be uh, zero because we removed all the ends at this point okay we said that this would be the equation uh, for y of n for n greater than or equal to 2 okay so the thing is now we're going to be adding this portion here to something we just don't know what it is in order to get a result of 1 okay and again that result of 1 came from if you remember from the first video when y is uh, when n is equal to 0 the output from y is 1 okay and so that's why the 1 is here so it's this portion plus something will give us one okay so now that that's the case and we've gotten that straightened out we now say that x to the delta or x times delta at zero plus okay this is going to go to one so this becomes 1.3125 is equal to one okay we're going to subtract 1.3125 from both sides so that gives us one delta when n is 0 is equal to okay and so this is going to be 1 minus 1.3125 and so x times the delta function at 0 is going to be equal to what is that uh, 0 0.3125 and do not forget that this is going to be negative right this is going to be negative so since this is the case and again remember the delta function whatever we multiply the delta function by okay that's uh whatever we multiply the delta function by that's what we're going to get for the output so since we need this as the output okay since we need this as a result probably the better way to say it here then we know that x is equal to negative 0 0.3125 okay and that is for uh, when the delta function is equal to n and n is equal to zero and because it's equal to zero it's defined right here okay hopefully that's understood so again yep. let me uh, clear this up just a little bit here So this is 4. So x is equal to negative 0 0.3125 for when the delta function is at 0. Okay? So now, if let's say when uh, n is equal to 1, so n is equal to 1, okay? y of 1 is equal to again we don't know what this is we're going to be multiplying a delta function by that okay now this needs to be defined okay we need to have some value other than zero there okay so because we need to have some value other than zero let's go ahead and put a zero in here and then we'll address this a little bit later okay so we're saying that this must be equal to plus again we're using the 1.3125 times negative 0.8. And since n in this case is equal to 1, we're going to raise this to the 1 power. And remember uh, from the previous that we said that at y equals, uh, when n is equal to 1, this needs to be 0.2 okay so since that's the case then we will say the following okay that this should be equal to 0.2 all right okay so again uh, y1 is equal to x delta 0 and we're putting leaving the 0 in there because we're saying it has to be defined at that area uh, this turns out to be equal to what uh, 1.05 and actually it should be negative because of that negative sign this is being raised to the first power here okay and that's 0 0.2 and so when we continue to work this through through here 
we get x delta function at zero plus, or pardon me, because we're gonna add that 1.05 to both sides, or negative 1.05 to both sides. And so this becomes equal to 0 0.2 uh, plus 1.05, okay? And so therefore then, and I won't keep writing that y there, therefore then this is equal to x delta zero, this becomes 1.25 then, okay? So in order for del the delta function here to be zero, or the, in the value in inside the square brackets here to be zero, we know that the delta function then, and remember n is equal to one, so that means then, that means then that n must be, or what should be in here is this, right? So that when n is equal to one, this becomes zero, which is what we had all through here. Okay, that's where it's defined, right? That's where we have some value other than zero. And this should be equal to 1.25. And so therefore then, x has to be equal to 1.25 uh, for the delta function when the delta function is been delayed, okay? So now given that that's the case, our final answer to this all, we finally got to the final answer. The final answer then, okay, is gonna be a combination. I'm gonna start here. So the final answer would be y n is equal to 1.3125, uh, let, let me redo this. I'm going to redo this. Okay, all right, let's start this again. Okay, so we found that the delta function when, uh, the delta function, uh, let's see, so we found that, there we are. So it's zero, and I'm reading over the notes on the other side here that I wrote already. So zero, negative zero point three one two five times the delta function at n, okay, plus, remember we got the 1.25, and we got that for the delta function being delayed by one, plus, and we have to go back to what we originally had for everything else, right? And that turns out to be equal to 1.3, one, two, five times negative 0 0.8 raised to the nth power, okay? And we need to multiply that by the unit step, okay? We need to multiply that by the unit step there so that we ensure that we only get this for values that are from zero, uh, for n being zero, and going all the way to infinity, okay? So this is the final answer for that iterative, uh, the iterative solution to that difference equation that we, we began with, okay? Y to the n, or y n, where n is again discrete time, okay? Is equal to negative 0 0.3125 times the delta function, okay? And that, this delta function has not been delayed, plus 1.25 times the delta function, and this one has been delayed, okay, plus 1.3125 times negative 0 0.8 raised to the nth, and all of this, uh, this should be multiplied by, again, the unit step okay in order to get the correct answer all right so now you've seen how to uh, solve for a difference equation using the iterative solution please do check my website for additional z transform and inverse z transform problems and check youtube